anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks all across this country. There were moments of silence, speeches, and bells tolling. It was all to honor the nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives that day. And for one local man, the memories of 9-11 are painful and intense. Medically retired New York City firefighter Tommy Dunn moved to the Gulf Coast to continue healing from the physical and emotional scars that he suffered that day. But as Channel 3's Catherine Daniels explains, he's still looking for medical answers and peace. For Tommy Dunn, the New York City Fire Department is a family affair. Father, brother, and uncle, all part of the business. The morning of 9-11, Dunn was a probie. That's the nickname for a rookie firefighter. He's seen here in ABC footage on the far right. His engine company, 240 out of Brooklyn, was sent to Manhattan very early on. We ended up going into the Trade Center, and when we arrived at our location, the chief that we were supposed to respond into was not there. He had been killed by someone jumping off one of the buildings. The confusion with that, along with last-second orders to exchange fire hoses for more oxygen, delayed Dunn's company from entering the tower. He was walking toward it when it collapsed. Several of his closest buddies already inside. Like if you were going to go out to a bar on Friday night, you'd call your whoever, your two or three guys, your crew, oh, right? Yes. Well, my crew is killed. The next morning, Dunn's father, retired New York City firefighter Tom Dunn, left his Gulf Breeze home, set for New York. I lost like 16 guys that I trained and, uh, and I knew. and I was there when they bombed it in 1993. The eldest, Dunn, helped train his son in search and recovery, tasks that they would work at daily for a year. Deep down inside, I'm digging for them. I was, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find out boys. All the while, breathing in toxic debris with very little protection. It didn't matter to me if I knew I was going to die by May. I was still going to do that job. Tommy worked for six more years as a New York City firefighter. As time went by, he developed major lung, esophagus, and stomach problems. A serious asthma attack on the job eventually forced him into retirement. He hated that. His post-traumatic stress levels increased. Last year, he developed double pneumonia. Both lungs collapsed. The medicine he was given for that triggered a very rare nerve disorder. That's why he has sores and blisters on his head. Tommy lives with his parents in almost constant pain. He says fighting the 9-11 Commission for health care and proper medicine is maddening. Why make it difficult? Why be 13 years later and I'm having prescription issues? This is ridiculous. There's other people that need help a lot more than I do. But I'm just pointing it out and making you aware that there are guys out there that are just kind of quietly, okay, and they're dying off. I'm just glad that he's alive. After that day, when I found out he was okay, I'm fine with everything because he's alive. Catherine Daniel, Channel 3 News. If you want a 50-pound bronze belt,